Hi there, it's Nicole Spohr here for Lawn Fawn, and today I'm sharing this card featuring the Outside In Stitched Star Stackables, as well as the Stitched Star Frames from Lawn Fawn for my card today. I'm going to pair these with the Slow Down and Enjoy stamps and coordinating dies, um, and the really beautiful, really rainbow pattern papers, which are probably my favorite from the release, although I really love the gingham as well. But these bright rainbow colors, I just can't get enough of. I already die cut a rectangle from Smooth White Cardstock using the small stitched rectangles largest die. So this is gonna be a panel that's slightly smaller than A2 sized. From this, I die cut the medium and small outside in stitched star stackables, kind of at angles. What I'm gonna do is have the elephant from the Slow Down and Enjoy stamp set hanging out from the biggest one, and the two smaller ones are just gonna be a great little peek through to this striped pattern paper. With it overlaying the paper, you can see how cute that's going to be. And then I went ahead and die cut that smaller one one more time from the bottom edge. I will take the rainbow pattern paper and then die cut that with my same rectangle die. That way I can be assured that it's gonna line up perfectly and I don't have to worry that maybe I don't get it trimmed right to the right size. While this is still nice and flat, I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out into my Misty and take a sentiment from the Slow Down and Enjoy stamp set. We're gonna use Thanks A Ton which I think is so cute and fun with the elephant. This stamp set can definitely be used to make bookmarks, like the court, there are some coordinating dies that do that. Um, some of the sentiments definitely work for bookmarks, which is awesome and incredible. But I like that you can also use these images for other types of cards. And at the end of this video, I will link to a couple of other cards I created using these images as well. So I've stamped my sentiment, thanks a ton. I am now going to simply take this panel, flip it over, and I am going to cover this with foam adhesive squares. Now, I really like the scrapbook adhesive squares because they're really low profile. You could use whatever adhesive you like. I purposely kept this low profile because I didn't want it to stick up too high but I did cover the entire back of this because I also don't want it to have any funny little areas that dip down or whatever if it gets um, goes through the mail. It's, if I left that one big open area, um, it could kind of get smashed and I always like my raised panel to actually stay raised. So I tend to go a little overboard with my foam adhesive squares. For anything that needs a little foam adhesive that these are too big for, I like to just trim them in half or thirds to fill in those little areas. I'm going to peel off all the backing paper from these little squares and then we're going to take the rainbow paper and actually place it on the back of this panel. I thought that would be easier than trying to take the panel with the foam adhesive squares and get it centered or get it lined up exactly with the rainbow paper, but whatever way works the best for you. And then we're gonna pop that right in place. This is a super simple card to design. If you opted to not use foam adhesive, I think this card would be even faster and you could really assembly line style, create a whole bunch of these and maybe do a whole set of thank you cards. I think that would be really cute. So next I am going to go ahead and grab some smooth white cardstock and I thought maybe I could use this little scrap here, but it's not going to work. So I'm gonna get another scrap and we're going to stamp the elephant from Slow Down and Enjoy, the front facing elephant for this, on the smooth white cardstock and then color in this cute little guy with some Copic markers. And I'm gonna be using some shades of warm gray here to color in my elephant. I tend to kinda of like to stay on the lighter end of the spectrum. So we're gonna start with warm gray one for the majority of the elephant blend in warm gray five and three, add a little R00 for the insides of the ears, and then to mute that 
R00 a little bit. I like to go in with warm gray zero and go over that. And it, it just kind of helps mute the pink so it's not quite so dark. But I always like to lay down my darkest color first, go in with my dark or my lightest color, go in with my darkest and add those areas and then blend with my mid-tone and then blend everything out with my lightest marker again. And you can keep going over this as many times as you need to to get that blend exactly the way you want it to look. Once you have the image colored in, simply take the darker colored markers and add some little dot detail to really add some fun interest. I like to use my darker one and the mid-tone. And I'm even gonna take my R00 and go in and add some pink to the cheeks before I take the coordinating die and die cut this little elephant. What I love about these is that they, the way the die cuts, it appears that it's kind of hanging out. So it's gonna, the elephant's gonna look like he's hanging out coming out of that little star frame on the front of this card. Now, because my panel is popped up, I think I want to pop up my elephant as well. He's gonna lay a lot nicer this way. I put a little too much foam adhesive. I kind of forgot that his um, legs were gonna be sticking over the top, and so that wasn't going to lay exactly right. So I'm gonna have to trim off just a tiny bit of that foam adhesive from the ends of his two front legs, and then we can try again. So we just wanna pop him kind of popping out through that large sized star. The card is looking cute, but what I really love and what I think adds so much fun and flair to this card are the little stars. And so from this new stitched star frames, the middle die from this set is actually a cluster of little stars. And I die cut this from a whole bunch of different Lawn Fawn cardstocks. I've got ballet slippers, raspberry, fake tan, sunflower, cilantro, mermaid, and sugar plum. And I'm going to put an assortment of these little stars kind of all throughout the card going from that top right corner down to the bottom left. And I'm using Ranger Multi Matte Medium to glue these down in place. A jewel picker is fantastic for picking up all these little pieces and popping them down. It keeps your fingers out of the adhesive. You're able to pick them up, put them right where you want them to go. And I think all of these little solid hearts, or pardon me, stars, really add a fun punch of color and fill in some of that white space. This is still a very simple design card, but the addition of all these, this little star confetti really just adds a whole lot of interest and embellishment to the design. You can even layer some of the stars. I layered one of those little teeny tiny ones onto a large one. Whatever you want to do here. Now once I had all of my little stars in place and I think I even went in and added a few extra here and there. There were a few spots that I, I really wanted it to be full and you can see I have lots of extra. I put those in a little dish to use for other projects. I'm always always looking to use um, little stars, little hearts, all that kind of thing um, on cards. So I usually save all of these. I'm gonna take the Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. This is a translucent Nouveau Crystal Drops, but it has uh, glitter in it. So it's gonna be this iridescent sparkle. And I'm gonna cover all of these solid cardstock stars with this. And once this is completely dry, they are gonna be these awesome sparkly stars throughout the card. I'm gonna grab a white top fold card base, score it really well with a Teflon bone folder, add some adhesive to the front of my panel. And I didn't really want the white on white, so I trimmed another piece of really rainbow pattern paper to A2 sized, four and a quarter inches by five and a half. This is the purple tone on tone stripe. I'm gonna adhere this to my card base, add some adhesive to the center here, 
and go ahead and pop my little star panel right there into the center. Thanks for joining me today for this card featuring an outside in stitched star frame. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. Thanks for joining me today and we'll catch you next time.